Okay, this is a second lesson on variables. This thing is small basic four, and as I've said in the previous examples, it's not a different programming language, just onto one note intersection small basic four. And this time we're going to use the variables to measure something. So we're building on the last lesson and we're creating a tool that measures how many of something it takes to reach a destination. So we need to think about variables again. So you can use the values that variables contain by typing the name of a variable. So we can say things like cats equal 5. So in this case, we now know that whenever I type cat, it means 5. And I could say something like boxes needed equals cats multiplied by 5. Okay. So in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to do... 5 times 5 because cats are worth 5. The only issue here is we're not going to see any sort of output on this. So what we would need to say is um, text window right line okay and then I'm going to write in boxes needed I'm going to close the brackets, which I accidentally deleted. And what you should see here is 5 times 5, so we should see 25. And if we run that, you can see we get the 25 here. Okay? So in this case, this could be anything. It could be Jeff, it could be Bob, it could be anything. But normally we try to make variables something that we can remember and use to help us. Okay? Now if I just swap that around, I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to remove it again. So if we try to make this a little bit more specific, so if I say something like um, length equals 4 and width equals 10, and then if I say that the area is equal to the length multiplied by the width, okay? Now, in this case, again, we're going to have to print it to see what's happening, so I'm going to use the same thing. So I'm going to go to text, uh, window, I'm going to go to write the line, I'm going to print out the area. And what you should see is we get 40 as an output. Now, we're getting 40 as an output because 4 times 10 is 40, and area is worth length, which is 4, multiplied by width, which is 10. Okay, So you can now use this as a way of actually measuring something, giving you an actual output. Okay, just clearing the screen off there. Okay, so this is a new interesting one. So if I use the same basic idea again here, I'm going to defining a variable called area. I'm saying the value of area is 5.3. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say area equals area plus 0 0.1. So what's happening here is I've got area defined as 5.3. On this one, I'm creating a new variable which has got the same name as this, so this will replace that one. But before it does, it's going to draw area here. So area is worth 5.3 on line 2. So 5.3 plus 0 0.1 creates the new area and this will draw from the new the nearest one so what do you think that's going to be what you should get is 5.4 okay you could change this to any other number if i take this to something like 2 or 3 then you can get 5.3 pulled into area plus 3 which is 8.3 and then this is going to read line 3 so we should now get 8.3 okay so you can redefine variables as we go through them, which again is quite important. Now the task for this is quite interesting because the task for this actual exercise is challenge, build and measure. Now we're going to build a measure and it says first ask for the height of something using the text window. It could be your height, the height of an animal or the length of a bus. To keep it less complicated for you, ask for the height or length in a specific measurement. 
then choose a long distance, maybe the distance from your house to the school, from New York to London, or from the Earth to the Moon. You might have to look this up. Finally output how many of that object it would take for you to reach there. Now, I'm not going to do this whole thing for you, but I will give you a bit of a clue. So if I do this, I'm going to need to ask some questions. I'm going to do the same basic thing. So I'm going to say text window dot, and we're going to go to... Uh, right line and I'm going to write a very brief introduction so I'm going to say welcome to Mr. Dyson's Measurer it's a terrible name I'll try and think of something better now I'm going to do the same thing so I'm going to do text window dot right line and again I'm going to put something in here this will show how many of you it takes to make a kilometre. You need to do something better than that. Okay, you need to try and think of something like distance to the moon, length of the United Kingdom, width of China, something like that. Okay, so in this one, I'm now going to ask a question. So I'm going to say text window dot right line, and I'm going to ask for specifics. So I'm going to say, how tall are you in meters? Because that keeps it fairly simple, I know. Show a bit of an English skill and put a question mark in there. Then we need to create a variable. So I'm going to say the height equals text window dot read. So whatever's entered at that point will now get read in. And now what I need to do is a bit of a calculation. So I need to know that a kilometer has got a thousand meters in it. So what I need to do is um, go say total, I'm going to call it in this case, equals 1,000, being 1,000 meters in a kilometer, divided by height. Okay? And then we need to output that. So what we need to say is something along the lines of text window dot perhaps I don't right line and we could put any message we want here so we could say it would take I'm going to put a space in there put a plus in to enter a variable but it doesn't need to be in the speech marks so we're going to say total and then we're going to put a plus in we're going to put a speech marks in and a space so it's a bit broken up of you to measure a kilometer. And then if we run this one, what we should get is welcome to Mr. Dyson's measurer. This will show how many of you it takes to make a kilometer. How tall are you in meters? Now, I think I'm somewhere at 1.88 meters. Okay? It would take 531.91 of you to measure a kilometer. So we can test that because 1.8 8 isn't far off 2, so 531 multiplied by almost 2 is around about 1,000, so that sounds like that's going to be right. Obviously, if you want to test that properly, use a calculator and check it. So, again, that's the task. Try to think of something a bit more exciting than a kilometre, and again, I want a screenshot not just of the output, but of the actual code as well. There is a second challenge on this one, which is the maths formula one. But if you've managed to complete the first one, hopefully you won't find that too difficult. Good luck.